Hi, I'm Filomena Trindade and welcome to my blog. From now and over the next few weeks, you will receive a link to a blog that I'm going to be doing or, or I should say a short video regarding how to protect ourselves from the coronavirus infection or rather from the COVID-19 disease. I especially want to focus on the importance of lowering our stress at these times. Just two days ago, I had a long conversation with my brother and he was very upset because in his area, there were people that were going to grocery stores or your Targets and Costco's of the world and basically filling up their carts with the, what they seem to be their biggest necessities namely toilet paper. So then when other people would go to buy it, there were there was none there. And he was really looking at things in a very traumatic uh, way. Um, and he felt that we were showing the worst in ourselves as human beings. And I agree with him. It, we do see that part of the population. But then I reminded him of people in Santa Cruz, for example, where their seamstress is lined up by the local community hospital, ready to sew on new masks as they're needed. And all the numerous amounts of local restaurants and businesses that have donated food, as well as labor to help the hospital continue to run and take care of the sick. So I want you to particularly focus on being positive at this time. As human beings, we have the capacity to love to care for one another, to show empathy, love, respect, you name it. Let's focus on those qualities right now. That's what we need to really empower ourselves and to stay positive so we can help our immune system. That is a huge, huge step towards staying healthy and avoiding the infection with the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So I like rules in a way and I have rules of threes and rules of four and rules of five. In this aspect, or in concerning what can you do to lower your stress and stay calm, I have five rules or five things I want you to focus on. And I hope that's not too many for you to remember, but this is what I've been focusing on with my patients, with my family, with my friends. Because believe it or not, I too am being affected by this and I am really learning what it takes to stay positive. I'm in St. George in the Azores Islands right now. We are pretty much under lockdown. There is nobody leaving or coming. So all um, transportation is shut off except for supplies. And I don't know when that's going to open, uh, mostly because we had eight people that went on a cruise and came back and some of them did not follow the quarantine that they should have and there have been infected those eight that we know of at least five of them are infected with uh, COVID-19 and so that has forced this massive lockdown and I don't know if I'll be able to return to the United States because they've pretty much shut the borders for um, uh, citizens that were outside uh, and I'm not able to leave but I still feel that I'm in the safest place that I can be because I have the beautiful ocean and the mountains and I have friends that I can talk to even if I can't see them. And I also have you, my community. And this is what I want to focus on. So those five things, number one is connect. Connect first and foremost with yourself. Meditate, do yoga. Tai Chi, Qigong, whatever it is that you're used to doing, do more of it. And if you're not a meditator and this is not something that you're used to doing, just go within and think positive thoughts. Or you can go for a walk if you're able to. That's meditation. You can look at something beautiful and mention, wow, that's a beautiful painting or those are beautiful flowers. That could be meditation. Internalize it to the way you operate and how you view the world and what you need for yourself. So number one, connect. And don't forget to connect with your community. Even if we can't be together, even if you're isolated in the sense that you, you're quarantined um, or you're trying to really stay home and not necessarily be in contact with anybody, we have a phone, right? You can communicate. 
right? You have video. I mean, thank goodness we have video. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. But don't forget to connect, but connect first and foremost with yourself. I was talking to a friend of mine and she was saying how this time has actually forced her to connect to more people than she would normally through Facebook or through Instagram or even just by video calling or even just phone calling or text messaging to check on how the health of friends that she had lost contact with. So, number one, connect. Number two, ground. Dr. Stephen Sinatra wrote this amazing book a few years ago called Grounding. And it's all about how we receive electrons from the earth. So the earth is basically this big electron donor. And it, we need electrons to sort of protect our force field, if you will. They surround us, they protect our body. But when we are wearing plastic or rubber shoes, or we don't have contact with the earth, with the water, with the sand, with the rock, with cement even. This is a view from my house. And we can also look at the mountain. So this is what I mean about connecting. Connecting to yourself, but also to your environment, to what you like. And for me here, it's real, but it can also be imaginary. You can use your imagination. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. Now, looking at grounding, you just want to have your feet on the ground. This is a stone rock that I'm standing in. You could very well also do this in sand, you could do it in dirt or in grass. Because what I want you to also concentrate on is when you're grounding, take a nice deep breath. Then you're connecting to yourself, but also to your environment. Deep breath with you, breathe into the count of six seconds. Using your abdominal muscles, you hold for two, breathe out for six, hold for two, and then repeat. So just to recap, we talked about connect, ground. Now we're going to talk about staying positive. This is so important to protect your immune system. All these things that I'm talking about. And by the way, there's something I want to mention. When we talk about grounding, one thing that um, helps us uh, stay grounded is of course that connection with earth things that help us stay ungrounded are things like electromagnetic radiations or dirty electricity so please please put your phones on airplane mode at night or turn them off completely that's the best way to protect yourselves and also turn off your wi-fi there'll be plenty of time for you to keep up with what's going on in the world when you awaken because you want to make sure that you get that deep restful sleep so back to connect Ground, stay positive. Think positive thoughts. You know, we all from time to time will sort of wander over to negativity, if you will. But it's important that we catch ourselves and we really focus on staying positive because that is going to affect our immune system, the robustness of it from you know every cell in our body, from the cells in our gut to the cells in our brain. Next intention the power of intention you know Wayne Dyer says that you sort of said because he has passed away that you should assume the feeling of whatever it is that you're intending for or what your intention is as if you've already had it fulfilled so assume that feeling as if your wish has already been fulfilled so whatever your intention is assume it's already happened and live from that perspective right from that groundwork, so to speak, or that make that be sort of your base or your foundation. It's important that we focus on the power of intention and just how critical that is. So when you're drinking that liter, liter and a half of water, as I mentioned in my earlier video, if you drink it with the intention that it's going to hydrate your cells, it will, and it will do it at a much greater level. So intention, extremely important. Set your intention for the day. Write it on a little post-it, you know, a little sticky. Put it on the mirror right in your bathroom where you'll see it when you're brushing your teeth or somewhere in your bedroom right before you go to bed. But it's important that you keep it active and that you, maintain, you remain positive and that you continue to understand how important the power of intention is. 
My next point is imagination. Be able to stay in tune to your imagination. And to me, imagination also means laughter. And we know that laughter lowers our cortisol levels, increases our endorphins, helps us fight infections to a much greater degree. So imagine, right? Stay tuned to your imagination. If you don't, you can even imagine a, a place elsewhere where maybe you don't like where you're at now, maybe you're confined. Imagine a place where you'd like to be because it's an, an amazing thing. Our mind can't tell the difference necessarily between something you're experiencing now actively in the present moment and you're imagining that you're doing it. That means that we can imagine something and our brains will act and our immune system will act as if we're there. It's an amazing thing. Do you know that Einstein said that imagination was more important than knowledge? Isn't that something? So just to recap my five things. Number one, we're gonna connect. We're gonna connect to ourselves connect to our environment, connect to our loved ones, even if it's just via phone or a video or a text. We're gonna to connect to a higher power, whatever it is you believe in. Just really focus a few minutes every day on that connection. I like doing it for even just 30 seconds, right when you get up in the morning, 30 seconds before you go to bed. The next is you're gonna ground. And you're gonna ground just by taking a nice deep diaphragmatic breath with you. Whether you breathe into the count of six seconds, hold for two, out for six, hold for two, repeat. And you're gonna step on the ground, on a rock or a tile, you name it, anything solid where you can receive those electrons from the earth, including water and sand, of course. And then the third thing is staying positive, thinking positive thoughts. Don't, don't forget about the importance of laughter. Even if you just laugh for 45 seconds, it does wonders for your immune system and your ability to fight off this virus. Now, next is number four, the power of intention, intend, right? And act as if you already have what your intention is. Act from that perspective, right? That's your baseline. And last, but by no means least, imagine. Use your imagination. And remember Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And when you imagine, your brain doesn't know the difference if it's really happening now or if you're imagining it happening. So use your imagination to be in a better place, to be in your favorite spot. Don't forget how important that is. And one thing I forgot to mention when it comes to grounding, I forgot to mention that just touching your pet, like petting your dog or petting your cats can help you ground, but it also gives you that aha, that good feeling Right, that we all need every day to maintain our immune system as healthy as possible. Tomorrow, you're gonna to hear another video from me. I hope you don't get tired of it. And that's gonna be about food and our connection to food and how that is gonna support our immune system. My wish for you is to have the greatest day possible. Stay positive, think positive thoughts, remember your imagination, intend, ground yourself, be well.